Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Your guy Raul is back, but today I'm here with a cooking tutorial. I'm going to be making the creamy carbonara. And uh, some of you guys might know, you know, through my social media, I enjoy cooking. I really love cooking. And today's video, I've decided to show to you guys, you know, how I make my simple carbonara. Okay, guys. So if you would like me to make another dish, just let me know in the comments. Even though if it's Malay. My lady, this is it's okay. It's okay. I can take that challenge. You know, I believe that I can make everything. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, just let me know in the comments what would you like me to cook. Even though some African dishes, you know, I will be uploading a lot of contents, you know, about you know some cookings and all these stuffs. And yeah, so today, as I say, I start. I'm starting with the carbonara. So let's get into it so uh, today i'll be using these pyros for some of you guys you can also use uh spaghetti or macaroni it's up to you i want to use these pyros for today's video the next one is the cooking cream the cooking cream i've been using this for i don't know since i came in malaysia and this is the one i prefer if you have another one it's up to you guys as you can see i've been using this one for two months but it's still in good condition the next one is the salt agi cube and also the black pepper for the black pepper <laughs> and again it's up to you guys i can see mine is almost finished because i've used it every time i cook and also the maggi cube seasoning which is for me one of the best the next one is the cheese for the cheese i mostly use mozzarella but i don't have any more so i will just use the one cheese slice one slice cheese sorry so we move on to the next which is the garlic and the onions for the onions you want to in today's video i will just cut it into small small pieces this is how i want to eat it for today if you prefer to cut it into like you know slice of of uh small slides it's up to you guys but for me today i will just cut it into small pieces just like this like small small pieces and i'm good to go just this this is how i want to eat it today just like this is good the next one is the parsley but this one this is going to be one of the last ingredients so you have to be until the end and the last thing is the chicken breast since this is the chicken cream, creamy chicken carbonara sorry i'll be using this chicken breast and uh first thing you want to do is clean it definitely you have to clean it before this is what i don't want i don't like to eat from the chicken breast so, and then you want to cut it into today i'm going to cut it into small cubes but i will start like cutting it like into slides and then like cut it into small cubes and again like sometimes i will just fry it after frying it and then i will cut it later but for today i will just cut it marinate and then fry it so that's how i want to make it today it's up to you guys sometimes i will use uh shrimps and more seafood but i don't have for today so i'll just do it. that's why i decided to make it with the chicken breast and as i was saying like you want to cut it into small cubes just like this for me just like this is perfect and yeah we are good to go let's get into it now okay so guys so some of you might prefer to boil the water first i mean wait until the water is super hot i read out these pyros or spaghetti whatever you're going to use but for today's i prefer i'm going to just do it this way we put the pyro first then add the water i will just add uh two cup of water now i mean i might add more because i feel like this is not enough and now I'll just add a little bit of oil just a little bit it's not that much guys so you just want to add a little bit of oil and after that some salt and after adding the salt i will just mix it you know i just want everything to be uh well mixed and yeah you just mix it and again I, I feel like the water is not enough so i feel like i'm going to add a little bit more of water so just one more cup of water and now just uh, mix it well and just mix it and now it's done i will just uh let it uh boil for like few few minutes and come back so yeah so yeah guys now it's time to marinate the meat so i mean the chicken the chicken breast that i'm using so now i'm just going to put a little bit of soy sauce i like i like using soy sauce in most of the things that i'm cooking here after that the next thing is the, this barbecue seasoning you know like you can get this at the mall i used to get this at the mall but it's up to you you may have your preferences it's up to you guys the next thing here will be the salt so i'm just going to add a little bit of salt because the the soy sauce itself is it has a little bit of salt so the next thing will be the black pepper i love putting black pepper in everything that i cook because i really enjoy it so after that you just have you don't you just want to mix it just mix it well until everything is you know is mixed well together 
and yeah and at the same time you have to test it to make sure that the salt is enough or the ingredients are enough for your chicken you know i love to do this you know i will just test it that's why like i cannot just tell you just put this amount or no it's up to you guys so yeah it's good that this is okay so let's proceed to fry it and now to fry you just want to put a little bit of oil you don't need to put too much oil i don't really like uh, using a lot of oil so yeah a little bit of oil you just want to separate them into you know piece by piece and yeah and as uh, some of you guys might know like for chicken breast you don't need to leave it for long just want to leave it on one side for like maybe one minute maximum or if it not even two but you need to lower the the heat you don't need to make it too high now you just want to turn it into the other side because it's uh it's already cooked i can say yeah i just want to turn it into the other side and uh this is just definitely simple steps of frying chicken <laughs> so yeah you just want to fry it i mean you just want to turn it all and yeah once everything is done you just want to leave it like this for like another uh, maybe i forgot this piece you want to leave it for maybe one more minute and then uh, as you can see it's actually done now so i'm just i'm satisfied like this i don't need to leave it for for a while it's okay like this i'm just going to take it out now let me just double check uh yeah i believe that everything is good so now we are good to go just have to double confirm with other with the other pieces and yeah everything is fine just need to take it out and yeah we are good to go okay so guys now it's time to start with the cream just want to fry some onions you know just a little bit of onion you just want to fry it a little bit but don't leave it don't let it burn don't leave it until it will be uh, brown or something <laughs> so you just want to fry it a little bit and then um you just want to make sure that everything is well cooked yeah as i said don't you don't need to leave it until it will be brown or something like this so yeah like this is fine now uh just want to move it for like maybe a few, few more seconds you don't need to do it for minutes or something so yeah just a little bit more and uh it's almost there it's almost there as you can see like i don't want to leave it uh, let it uh, uh br get brown or something like this sorry so yeah just for now i'm just going to now it's time to proceed with the next one which is the so as the cooking cream and as i say like as i mentioned before you maybe you guys might have your preferences when it comes for cooking cream so yeah this is the one i've been using as you can see it's done it's actually finished because i've been using it for i think like almost two months now so yeah this is the brand that i really like to use i might try another one but for now i'm just uh, working with this one so now it's time to proceed to add like uh, definitely so the ingredient more ingredients such as the black pepper and yeah uh, as i say as i mentioned before for me i like to put black pepper and everything then i will add some salt it doesn't need to be a lot because i will always try you know i will always test my everything that i cook to make sure that the salt is enough is good enough for me or no so that's how that's how i i, I prefer it because after all like i feel like you need to as long as uh, you keep putting maybe salt or black pepper or whatever you also need to keep testing if you're satisfied so next thing i'm going to add i will add this uh maggie cube that i mentioned earlier and again it's up to you you guys might not like it and again i still feel like i need to add a little bit of salt and now i need to, i will add the maggie cube it's up to you i like to i also enjoy like when my when my food has this taste of the maggie cube so that's why i like to add it and i will not add it that much i will just add one cube and yeah now you see how the sauce will turn a little bit of brown but definitely it's because of this maggie cube so it's still fine if you don't like to use maggie cube you can just use salt is it, it will also be good so yeah i'm just i'm gonna just use this my cube and the reason why I, 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 i'm shaking it like this is because sometimes uh this cooking cream it might get dry so i don't i don't want it to get dry that's why you need to reduce definitely the the, the stuff so that it will not overcook i don't want it to be dry yeah i just want to make sure that everything is good now i will just test it to make sure that i'm satisfied enough i don't believe so i think i might just add a little bit of salt more but anyway 
maybe um, you know later on or yeah so now the next thing uh, as i said uh, uh, sorry the next thing now we just add some garlic garlic that i mentioned earlier i just add uh, one one piece of garlic I, like, I really enjoy using this this one is super easy you know so yeah, i'm just going to add this uh, one piece of garlic and yeah after that just want to mix it again make sure you mix it well don't let it like as i say don't let it get dry as you guys as you can see it started to be heavy and you know a little bit of dry but you don't you're not supposed to leave it like that until you are done so i will just add a little bit of water you don't need to add that much of water so i'll just add a little bit so that it will be like uh not that heavy because i haven't added the cheese yet so that's why i will add a little bit of water because after all i don't like i don't like my creamy carbonara super super creamy so i will just add i just add a little bit of water now i just want to mix it well and yeah mix it well i, I will just test it again and as i said before like i believe that i still need to add just a little bit it doesn't need to be that much a little bit of salt because yeah and no black pepper because i still feel like it's getting there you know it's not i'm not that satisfied but i'm getting there and again like just a little bit and it's up to you guys you guys might like it less than the way i make it or maybe more it's up to you that's why you have to keep testing how you know to see if you're satisfied so now the next thing will be like um, now it's time to add the cheese actually because i basically added everything so i just want to leave it for like few minutes just add the cheese not like few minutes just maybe just leave the cheese to be there for like one minute or maybe a few seconds so yeah as you can see the cheese is melting which is good so i'm just going to mix it all just want to mix it everything because yeah basically this is done actually so you don't need to do much once i already added the cheese you just need to mix it everything until you feel like the sauce is creamy enough for you so for me i just feel like it's still not creamy enough as you can see it's it's watery but yeah definitely at this point i believe that we have to add another another more cheese because this is not how i want it to be so yeah and at the same time like uh, as i mentioned before i will i might add more salt because the the test i'm not uh, that satisfied with it so far i feel like i need to add a little bit of salt and now i just want to make sure but before that i want to make sure that everything is well mixed and yeah with the the cheese that i added and again as i mentioned before like I used to do it with mozzarella cheese but i don't have it anymore that's why i use this uh this slide of cheese you know the sandwich cheese let me call it like that so as i said before it's not creamy enough i'm just going to add like one more uh slice of cheese because yeah i want it a little bit more creamy just want to add one more and i'm not going to add more because i feel like uh with this one will be enough so now we just want to leave it like for like uh just maybe maximum one minute and then you will just do the same thing you just have to start shaking it and mix it well until everything will be uh, melt and will be mixed with the sauce just want to mix it well you know this is just the basic like easy steps so as i said like basically this is actually done you don't need to do you don't need to do much you just want to mix it well and until until you will see that uh it's creamy enough for you if you feel like it's not creamy enough for you yet you can add more cheese but for me i like it this way i don't like it super creamy and need a uh, watery so for me i prefer like this as you can see now uh we just leave it like that because yeah it's creamy enough for myself it's creamy enough so yeah now i'm just going to and now it's time to proceed with the next step which is the which i mean you just have to let it rest a little bit and then you just want to add the chicken i like to add the chicken into this uh, creamy sauce so that everything will be you know well mixed and yeah and we have this taste of this creamy sauce you know the chicken you know sometimes as i say sometimes i i will fry the chicken uh, after making the curry, the carbonara so that i will just cut it into pieces and put it on top of the carbonara like this is also fine but for today's video, I decided to fry it first. I mean, cut it before, 
and then fry it and add it into the creamy sauce as you can see now i let it uh, cook for like maybe one or two minutes and now everything is well mixed and the sauce is already mixed with the chicken so yeah now it's time to add the spirals so basically like this is done actually just want to add a little bit you know you don't need to add everything at once you just small by small until you will feel like uh, you are satisfied with it you know like for some people they will eat it like this like a little bit uh, with sauce like watery like this and everything but for me I don't really like it like this so that's why I feel like I will add a little bit more of spirals I even feel like I end up making a lot of spirals but it is what it is so I will just add a little bit more and yeah because as you can see the sauce is still there oh my god but it's good the creamy sauce is still there so it's good it's good and uh, yeah and again i will just uh, i just added a little bit of spirals now it's actually done we just need to mix I, do, I will just mix it well mix it well and at the same time i will i will test it to make sure that the salt is good enough for me because i mentioned before that i might add a little bit of salt so yeah i will just mix it well and makes it oh my god this looks so delicious it is super easy to do so and if, if you guys reach until here i want to thank you guys for watching it does mean that you really enjoy it and i really hope that you guys will make good use of this recipe so yeah i'm just going to test it now to make sure that the salt is enough which i don't believe so <laughs> so at this point i think that i will just add hey it might be a little bit you know a little bit but it's up to you guys myself i feel like i might still add a little bit more of salt you know because uh it's not that good enough yet but i believe that just with this a uh, little bit of salt it will be uh, super good now it's perfect just now oh my god look how creamy it is it looks so creamy oh my god i just want to dive into it right now so just look at this with the chicken there just just tell me the craving of this right so yeah it's just easy to do guys it's just easy to do in like few minutes you'll be ready you'll be ready to eat this and enjoy it definitely so that's the end actually guys so i'm done making the carbonara but it's not done yet there's one more step that i said you need to stay until the end so guys this is the creamy carbonara this is the last step which is to add the parsley now i also want to teach you how to decorate the plates as a chef so just want to add the i will just add the parsley on top and i will just add one there like you know to make it a little bit fancy let me call it like this <laughs> i mean even though the background doesn't look fancy but i mean it is what it is but the plate yeah the food tastes good and yeah it also looks good as you guys can see and yeah thanks for watching guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you saw so you like you say and subscribe and i will see you in the next